John Lawrence is director of museum programs for the historic New Orleans collection and a photographic artist. Besides exhibiting his photographs in countless shows, John has written extensively about contemporary and historical photography and helped develop one of the largest and most comprehensive collections of Louisiana photographs for the historic New Orleans collection. Now, I think the quality of his work as an exhibition planner and designer and, uh, is related to his photography because he has a great sense of, of design, um, strong architectural sense of the way the world appears to us. It's just this sense of, of design that he is paying attention to and noticing, whether he's in Turkey or Rome or uh, here in New Orleans, there's this wonderful sense of, of noticing things that uh, perhaps would go unnoticed by others. John curated, in conjunction with the French Ministry of Culture, an exhibition called Visions of New Orleans, or in French regards, Sur la Nouvelle Orléans. And it featured nine New Orleans photographers alongside three French photographers who had come to New Orleans at various points in history and photographed here. And um, it was a labor of love for him. He didn't include his own work in the show. He just he selected nine photographers to create a broad overview of contemporary visions of New Orleans, which premiered in Paris and traveled in other places in France. In 1975, I began working at the historic New Orleans collection. And because of my interest in photography, I, um, I gravitated toward uh, the somewhat limited photographic holdings that the Historic New Orleans collection had at the time. I became aware that the photographic history of New Orleans was extremely rich, dating uh, virtually to the dawn of photography itself, and being exposed to photographs that the importance of the subject was a principal motivator for why the photograph was made and why that photograph was in our collection. Uh, those characteristics of a growing collection of historic photographs also informed the way that I approached my own work uh, alongside this um, kind of more abstract or modernistic or pure design approach to photographs that I made initially, uh, I began to uh, see ways of looking at the world that would uh, have a descriptive component to it and uh, a component that um, in some ways could bring a, a little bit larger of a context to uh, the scene that I was photographing. The work that I was doing with our own photographic holdings at the Historic New Orleans Collection certainly had an influence on the way I viewed the world. When I began to look for a way to examine the world through photographs, uh, uh, sort of a hard-edged modernist approach was one of the ways uh, that I chose to do that. And I think that in the um, 35 years or so that I have practiced photography, that is um, a consistent way that I have approached the world, uh, a way that looks at organizing a scene in front of you, looking at the world, but also having the world look back at you in the photograph. <laughs>